What on earth is happening here? We're in this crazy room that seems to make people grow when they go to one side and then shrink when they go to the other. If you watch my head against the tops of the window frames, you'll see the effect. It's actually a room that was invented 40 years ago by a man called Ames. And it's not magic. It has this effect because of the way it's made. Most rooms are rectangular, but not this one. One of the back corners is very tall, but the front end of the room is quite short. It's not a real room anyway. It's three walls, two of them very distorted. Maybe I can explain it better with a model. I started with a cardboard box, something like a shoe box, and trimmed away part of it. What I actually did was to make a mark halfway up that corner, that corner and that corner, and another mark at the top of the fourth corner. Draw lines between those points and cut away the cardboard above those lines. It's almost an Ames room, but not quite. Little peephole in the front there, and then another back wall. Full height on the left, half height on the right, coming across at an angle. Now, when you saw Rob and me in an Ames room, you just saw one, two, three walls there, and the camera was sitting on the floor. We need two people to go in our model Ames room, and I've cut them from yellow and red cardboard, identical size. We'll drop the red one in on the right, and the yellow one in on the left, and then fly in the old bug cam, see if we can see the effect. Now from there, an aerial view, the illusion hasn't appeared yet. But as it comes down and looks through the peephole, what do we see? The person on the right looks far taller than the person on the left. Change them over, and you guessed it, the one moving to the right grows, the one moving to the left shrinks. The Ames Room is such a compelling illusion that it's sometimes been used in films as a special effect to show people growing or shrinking.